Uh, welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic uh, and thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, share and like. Today we have 2008 Eight. Mini Cooper, Cooper S. S. Six speed. Six speed. Uh, convertible. Convertible. You see like my head over? I don't have nothing. Only the roof. <laughs> Here's a car. Convertible. You can use those buttons. It can come up all the way from there. Okay, and uh, today we need to diagnose this car at least, quick diagnosis, to see what happened, what we have, and what's going on. We're using our autologic. Uh, he said the backup sensor, it doesn't beep if somebody come near to it. I know some of them, they have a cancel switch that it doesn't beep, no matter what, um, if you don't need it. Here we have the switch for the mirror, if you want to play with the mirror, the heat, you see. And the seat. For the seat. So let's see if there's any code and why if you approach something from the back the those sensors are not working so i'm going to go to diagnose and in diagnose i will say accept and where is the mini i don't have mini cooper okay do i have to go to bmw, Maybe under BMW. yeah under bmw then you go here on the bottom here is a mini you say r50 hold up okay in here if you need to choose you have r50 r52 r53 is one model r5 56 57 58 59 60 61 is one model then you can f54 55 56 57 and 60. i don't know where 58 go so i'm going to choose this one here it will give me the vin number soon let me turn the car off do you want to get the VIN number uh you want me to read it up to you? No, it will it will get it automatically. Yeah. We just wait. You don't need to read the VIN number. I, I already get the VIN number here at the bottom. Identifying the car. This is a VIN number. To, to see the car from outside, by the time the car gets identification, let me show you. This is the car. Let me go back a little bit. Small, nice, beautiful, yeah, yes, <laughs> okay, oh my goodness, I like this car, okay, you see how it's on the back, okay, we are here for diagnosis, so let's see what we can do, okay, S, so I'm going to run a complete test, let me see a quick test. Quick test, it will take some time, it will give you a good result, I'm sorry, it's it takes some time, uh, now we still determine the car, okay what code we have, uh, no control unit contain fault, everything is good, there is no code at all, but the only problem that we have is why we are not getting the backup camera why it doesn't backup it, sensor yeah backup sensor no con no control unit are present no fault all communicate all communicating control unit okay. why say no no communicate no code present okay let me go back he says there is no code okay let me go to body I'm going to see the junction box. No communication. Instrument cluster. No communication. Convertible roof. What happened now? I only read the VIN number. Back. Drive. Digital model. I just, I just see the engine control module just now. Why I cannot communicate? Maybe something fall. I read the VIN number just now. Why? Everything will look good. Let me start the car. This is clutch. So I'm able to read the VIN number. 
but I'm not able to read anything. That's very weird. Car system. No, this is. Let me go to DME. Car is running now. No, no code. Nothing. Are you sure this is a car? Maybe 51. Maybe 52. No, it's supposed to be R56. Let me, let me go to R53. I'm supposed to be able to communicate with this. Yeah, but if the, if the VIN number corresponds to what you got in front Okay, let me see. Back it up here. Drive. DME. Yeah, this is the EWS. Yeah. Fault. No fault. Now I'm able to communicate with. Because transmission. Because it's stick shift. Yeah. We don't have no transmission. EWS. Yes. Fault codes. No fault codes. Um, so this car is, you see here, everything look okay. Start a motor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, everything good. Start a motor block due to car running. Because the car running, is starter will not crank again. The start a motor block due to excessive speed, yes. And then next page. You see the terminal K on. Start of central locking bus. Okay. You know, everything key. Everything valid, valid, valid. This is how you know if you want to know the right, the everything is okay on your car or not. If the key is good, you're gonna see this one. If the car is running, you're gonna see this. If I turn that key ignition off, ignition on, you're gonna say no, no. <coughs> see here, start yeah, motor block to 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 select the level. Yes, because you have to push the shift. Uh, you, right, this, right. you see this car is stick shift. So right now, is start is deactivated. Why? Because he need to see the the clutch depressed. So you see now, I'm gonna depress it. Yep. The light go off. Mm -hmm. So we are good here. Uh, I wanna go back to see where is the uh, where is the uh, body. Here we can do quick test because if we have anything, we will get it. Oh my goodness. Control. Yeah, everything look here is good, so we're gonna do the quick test to see the result. So what that that scans the whole computer and read out everything? Yeah, it read all the all the functions, diagnosis, even you have a programming. If you need to program a computer or you see like uh, please cycle the ignition off and then on to reset all communication. Mm -hmm. On yes. Now he will tell us if there is any code, any comp any problem. You see that? Central body electrical, we have 20 fault. Before we don't have no fault. Multiple restraint system, we have one fault. Airbag, anti lock brake system, three fault. Instrument cluster. Now we're talking. Next, okay, I'm gonna just see the report, okay? This is the report. Okay. This is the first page of report, page down. Low beam, code. Power this uh, okay uh, airbag light power okay power issue vehicle identification carry steering adjustment instrument cluster okay initial power supply CD drive convertible top you have couple of codes on the convertible but maybe top. maybe I yeah they have some codes but I don't consider we just consider that like internal fault steering. Okay, you okay, convert top that might go off now. Okay, now let me see something. This all the code that I have it. Automatic interval electronic steering assist. Maybe this is why. But it will not give us exactly what happened. So I I prefer to put the the dealer tools. Let me delete all this code. I'm gonna save it. I say okay. Okay, I save all this information. I go back. I gotta do quick clear. So that will clear all the codes? I'm clearing everything. Okay. We don't know what happened, but we clear everything and then we see if they're gonna work. 
especially when the car when the car in, in reverse right now there is nothing okay you still have got 20 pause no it? this is before oh exit quick test this is before but there is nothing now <coughs> anyhow even the tire pressure monitor if there is nothing <coughs> Can I put this in reverse? See if nothing go behind. See if it's gonna be a beep. It doesn't beep, right? No. Okay, we're gonna check that one. Okay. I gotta check something here. I don't even know what kind of serve uh, body uh, body control. Heat, automatic interval, automatic headlight, convertible, CD, video. Look, park distance control. Yes, this one. Yeah, park distance control, that's the one. Let me see why. Yeah, see, it's not communicating at all. It's not communicating. Maybe the module is not there. Yeah, that's why, why it doesn't beep. Maybe fuse, maybe anything. And this, this one here is good to do it with the... Uh, dealer tools as soon as you put it in it will show you why and where and where is the location with the dealer codes no with the dealer computer the good the, oh, okay. the, the good about the difference between those scanners is it have a limit it's just a scanner okay but when you, when you put the dealer tools it will go into detail it will show you where the module is what happened to it so this video consider it the result with regular tools yeah. regular scanners aftermarket the next one we are what time now Time now. What time is it now? Let's see. Uh, 7.36. 7.36. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can put the other video. So please come back or wait for us for the next video. I'm going to put this one and then we see the next. Thank you for watching. We are going to try the same one using dealer tools. What are the result and how we know where is the location of this part, what happened to it, where are the fuses, why it doesn't communicate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.